This episode of Beam NG Drive, completely not brought to you by Red Bull. Red Bull. Because why put anything better in your body? Hello, everybody, Grace and We're back with more Beam NG Drive. Out here in San Frisco, which is basically like San Francisco, it's just like slightly smaller, both in name and in scope. They love building houses on incredibly steep inclines. Why? Because it makes the police chases all that much better. Over here! The patented white Beam NG truck slowly maneuvering away with a trailer in back. Why? Because we're going to be stacking stuff inside of this trailer on top of doing a bunch of other random things. Because it's funny watching the trailer ejaculate stuff all over the roadway as the vehicle goes flying down the hillside over here. Now all of these vehicles, the police included, have been given some, uh, some engine upgrades, I'll say. There's a little bit more power in all of these beasts, and by a little bit more power, I mean, like, 400 more horsepower. Down here, the faces of health insurance sit in the middle of the roadway to gossip about weather and the news. Why? Because they never thought that this would be an area where a giant police chase would happen and potentially, like, rip all their heads off. All right, let's see how this does. Now... There is an end to the runway. It is way down there by the docks. If anyone can make it down there without immediately dying. You'll never take me, says the patented white beam NG truck. Wow, it is getting quite a little bit of speed down this roadway. I had no idea that it would like do so. Okay, all right. It's doing a lot better than I thought it would. Say goodbye to the red car. There goes my poor dummy friends. I think they're still inside their vehicle though. Nope, never mind. Well, yeah, they're still inside the vehicle. They're just twisted up inside of all the metal. So it might not- there's <laughs> this guy hanging out for dear life, he's like, there's no way in hell I'm leaving this freaking car. What happened to the other police vehicles? The dude in the blue totally made out all right for the most part. Look at the acrobatics. Look at the agility, except for the part where this poor bastard got RKO'd on top of this wooden fence post over here. I think he did pretty good. What happened to all the police Okay. Hmm. I was gonna ask what happened to the police cars. I have a feeling like the police got hit a lot worse than our white beam NG truck. I mean, other than, you know, having a piece of one of the dummies mobiles stuck inside of its grill, I think it did pretty good. I thought that we would go simple by putting some hay bales in the back of the truck. I had no idea that they would weigh quite so much. You can see, oh God, you can see how easily it's destroying the control that the white beam NG truck has. Actually, the white beam NG truck doing quite well. Holding onto the roadway, even taking a little bit of a hit for the police over here. But it's not a big issue. It's fighting back with great, I don't know, perseverance. But now, over the hill. This is that moment where you think to yourself, it is totally possible that I just screwed up. I think he's gonna be okay though. Let's find out. A little bit of a little bit of a fall, but not too bad. Look at that! It's still good. Never mind. Ooh. <laughs> well, crap. Uh, I totally thought that this truck was gonna get all the way down. The only reason it didn't is because you know it got backbreakered on top of this fence over here. This fence has claimed a lot of lives. A lot of lives getting claimed by the wooden fence. Let's let's put something a little bit lighter inside of the trailer. You always knew it was meant to happen. Piles and piles of dummies prepared to die for the cause. Uh oh. I think. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I think one of the engines blew or something like that. What happened here? How come the only one that got injured was the dummies? For the most part, the white beam NG truck seems to have come out of this kind of okay. Go, patented white beam NG truck. You can do this. Don't be throwing the dummies all over the place. Okay, it's still on the roadway. Everything's just fine. The police are starting to come up behind it. Sadness and depression may be pervasive right now. Uh-oh. Oh, all the dummies get taken out in one shot. Bodies and skulls and tires and pieces of bits of bone and ass and stuff shooting all over the place. That tire just ran right into that house. And all of the dummies in unison feel the horror that is the beam ng police department there will be no happiness there will be no fun or jolly time 
There will only be the pervasive sadness and agony. Look at this dummy doing all kinds of capoeira. That was really neat. I don't... For a second there, it almost looked like it had a life of its own. Guys, you got him. You got him. He's apprehended. Totally apprehended. I feel like we need something that... Look at it go. It's true. Finally, the dummies in BeamNG have developed a form of sentience. Look at it go. Look at it trying to escape. My video. <laughs> Look at it trying to run away. What sort of Tanya Harding level triple axle is going on over here? It's like it's possessed by Satan. It's it's legitimately like being part of a poltergeist or something. I don't know what the hell this is. I've never seen this before. I thought we needed a little bit more America. So I figured I'd put this on here. I just don't know how well it can hold on to the roadway. This is a hell of a friggin' steep decline over here. All right, back end kind of took a little bit of a beating, but I think we're doing okay. What kind of slick ass tires does this thing have on it? Part of the bumper just went flying off. No, my dummies! Why in God's name would you torment the dummies? The suspect's not even down there. Okay, now the suspect's starting to move down there. Passes the blue dummy like it's no big deal. Oh, God in heaven, no. Oh, one dummy's... I think it was his ankle, luckily, and not his skull. One dummy's ankle. Caught in between the wheel well and his own vehicle. Yeah, this is a very, very, like, slick, tired car. And the Law Enforcement Officer Award of the Year for the 2018 period goes to this poll. This poll took down and apprehended a suspect easier than any other police chase I've ever had before. I figured if we're gonna America it up, let's make sure that these vehicles can hug the road a little bit better. Here we go. This thing, never mind, totally couldn't hug the road. Oh, it may be able to save itself though. It may totally, there's the police. I was gonna say, it may totally be able to save itself and it did. A complete, what, never mind. I was gonna say a complete 100% recovery. Up until the point where it's, uh, spoiler, went ejecting into the sky. Looks like it's going to get past the police cars. Yes! Made it past the police cars. Down through the busy streets of San Fresco. And now all it has to do is launch itself into the stratosphere. Why is it on fire? You may, you may be asking yourself, Gray, why did you put a, uh, a mobile trailer in the way? The question isn't why did I put a mobile trailer, it's why not really. I think it really, it really gives that ending portion a lot more cinema to it. It's got a little bit more of a cinematic view when something's exploding as the car tries to ramp off of this friggin' building over here. Although, the America Mobile didn't do as quite as well as I thought it would because, you know, it's on fire and stuff now. I'd really like to see if this thing can stay on the roadway. It doesn't look like it can. I'm gonna- Oh, it's going backwards! Oh, God. <laughs> look at the pile up. It didn't really do that much damage either. It immobilized the vehicle surprisingly well. I mean, this this right here was a tactical maneuver by the police. 100%. Very little... Well, let's just forget about that. For the most part, very little damage done to the cars, and the suspect is completely and utterly immobilized. He can't do anything. All right, we got a brand new America mobile over here. Let's see how well it does. It should stick to the ground a little bit better than all the other ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's whoa, mother of God. What was sticking to the tower? Look at it, it's between the two police cars. Oh, my God. Oh, the dummies. Oh, it's like a bullet. Straight through the red car. Look at it twisted turn. The bumper, the hood, all those bits and pieces, all three vehicles doing a fantastic job of sandwiching the America Mobile and the America Mobile's tail gets ripped clean off the car. All right, down a wheel, maybe two. Can it continue though? Will it be able to crit to slowly inch its way to freedom? No. I think we just got unlucky last time. Inside of the police vehicle, chasing after the America Mobile as it very unsafely maneuvers its way downtown. Oh! I think we just saw one of the W's life's ending right out the passenger side of our window. 
I feel like this particular uh, police vehicle is still in really good shape, and it is. Very little damage. Very little damage, except for the front bumper. And over here, the America Mobile twisted inside of part of the red dummy mobile, and it is going nowhere. We're back into it. I decided to put something very special uh, at the bottom of the roadway. Wow, it plowed completely through the dummies. Like they weren't even there. Some uh, concrete walls. I figured, why not? This thing's pretty powerful. It should be able to blast through it, right? <laughs> I think that the engine died or something after it hit the dummies. Because it looked like it was about to go around the cement. And the police were like, nope. Dre went through all the trouble to put those cinder blocks down. You better freaking go through it, you scumbag. And that, my friends, is what is going to disable this car. A lovely shot through the cinder blocks, and the cinder blocks got freaking demolished. Um, I actually didn't think that it would bust through quite that easily, although it was essentially four cars instead of one, since all three police vehicles decided to pile on this poor bastard. You always knew it had to happen, monster trucks. Down the San Francisco sort of roadways over here. Oh, mother of God, what happened behind us? Oh, it's sad times for everyone that's not the beautiful Red Bull Mobile. This episode of Beam NG Drive completely not brought to you by Red Bull. Red Bull, because why put anything better in your body? Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> it just, it freaking choke slammed the, uh, the dummy cars. Oh, is it going to get through the, is it going to get through the concrete? No, never made it to the concrete because all the police vehicles are just twisted in a giant pretzel up at the top of the hill. I don't know why. All right, you scumbags, get them. There we go. Now we're rolling. Now the police are starting to do their job. Oh, tires and suspensions and whatnot. Look at this, it's like a fireman's carry. The suspect vehicle fireman's carried one of the police cars and one of the police, look at this thing. Oh, is it gonna make it? Is it gonna make it to the dummies? No, totally didn't. I'm gonna have to put some extra space in between these. Here we go. Red Bull, unmolested. Trying to make its way down the roadside. Kinda hard to uh, to stay on the road for the most part. Oh God, what just happened? Something happened behind this thing. I know not what it is. Rolling off the red car as we often do. Trying to get as much air as possible. I think part of the bumper is flying on the ground back there. It looked like one of the police vehicles ended up- Oh, clear the tree! Clear the tree! Totally didn't clear the tree! Did not at all clear the tree! One of the tires is like a piece of taffy or something like that. It's rolling around. Well, folks, unfortunately, the Red Bull Mobile did not make it to the bottom of the roadway. I was kind of hoping that it would- that it would, uh, come into contact with our cinder blocks. If you want something done right, you've got to do it your freaking self. Okay, maybe not. Nope, nope, totally got it. I got it, I got it. We, we're, we're good, we're good. I just got to kind of maneuver to the side. Jesus, no wonder this thing was going around all over the place. Crap! I've got a dummy stuff inside of my freaking wheel. Do not give up. Do not give up no matter what you do. Yay! Touchdown. All right. So... With only three tires, we did finally manage to limp our way all the way down. What the hell happened up there? It's like a friggin' atom bomb went off. They're just fire and smoke pouring out everywhere. Those guys weren't even involved in all this. They were way in the back. You guys often ask for it, so we're doing it. The silver bullet is back. This is not the kind of roadway that the silver bullet wants to try and navigate, but we're gonna friggin' do it anyway. We've got four silver bullets. And they are coming down like a bullet. Oh! And the red dummy mobile gets eaten. It's like a hippo taking a drink. Oh boy. Let's follow it. There it is. Right through the cinder blocks like they're not even there. Yes. All the boys and girls are getting to school today. No snow day is here. Imagine it's a leisurely Sunday afternoon. You're talking with your buddies out in the roadway. When all of a sudden, in the distance, you see this monstrosity. 
a quadrant of silver colored. <laughs> it's like a nightmare. Silver colored freaking school buses coming for your ass. Can anything stop the silver bullet? Negatory. Get out of the way, cinder blocks. Don't have time for your freaking bull crap. And it will continue onward all the way until it reaches its final destination, which just so happens to be old Pops's uh, freaking camper over here. Take that camper out. No survivors. Well done. Another silver bullet for your enjoyment. The other silver bullets don't look like they... Never mind. One of them is powering its way through. I don't know how. But it too is gonna make it to the end. Little little love tap right there on the rear end. Yes. So in the end, we've only lost one single silver bullet, and it was all because of a damnable beam ng tree. We're doing it. Four destroyers. The 300 kilometer per hour truck that packs this giant wedge on the front of it. We're just gonna go nuts here. We might as well. And they're going to be going through a whole school of these very, very colorful dummy-infused vehicles. If they can make it down this hill, it will be absolute freaking bedlam. This is what it looks like. They're kind of making it down the hill. As long as they don't get tangled on one another, I think... Oh, mother of God. Oh, some things are happening. Oh, some things are happening. Okay. Let me get down here so we can we can completely understand what's about to happen to these dummies. There we go. Yep. Uh-huh. Underneath a few of the tires, but I think for the most part, a lot of the dummies are doing quite well. These ones over here may be potentially paralyzed and or broken in half. Oh, never mind. It's a lot worse than I thought it originally was. There are dummies flying through the air. There are dummies that got ejected from the vehicles. I mean, like, seriously ejected from the vehicles. And some of the destroyers just got caught on a freaking tree. Oh, no. The wall can't stop the destroyer. The wall doesn't even put a dent into the destroyer. Now, I don't know if they can make it all the way down to here. If they can make it down to here, it will be very, very destructive. But I have a feeling that by now, they've mostly been stopped. Sort of. One's kind of stuck to the other one. Eh, nope, didn't even touch it. All right. I spaced the destroyers out a little bit more. So we'll see at this point if they're going to get a slightly better shot at all the dummies. Oh, they sure are. Oh, God. Oh, no, the dummies are going to be thrown straight through the bricks. Yep. Straight through the bricks. The dummies continue onward. How horrifying it is. All of the other destroyers looks like they've like either been broken in half or they just couldn't make it all the way to the end. There is one hero over here that's even gonna get a little bit of a hit in on the uh, on the camper. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Beam NG Drive, where we got to take some cars and throw them down giant hills for the fun of it. <laughs> The dummy says, uh, whatever you do, for the love of God, do not accept a job from Gray. Oh, right through the bricks, too. Anyway, folks, until the next time, <laughs> stay foxy and much love.